Hello everyone. Before we introduce you to AV distribution over fiber optics, we need to make two very important points really clear. Firstly, a future ready project should always include fiber optics. And second, fiber optic installation and termination is easier than it ever was. Now that's all cleared up, let's take a look at these two points in more detail. For years we have relied on copper cabling to carry various audio and video signals throughout a building. And, to a large extent, we still do. Copper still plays an important part in many installations and will continue to do so for some time yet. Fibre optics use light instead of electrical energy to carry signals and if you've paid attention at school, you'll know that nothing travels quicker than the speed of light. When dealing with copper cable, there are a number of factors which need to be considered. For example, how many cables are squished together in a conduit? Are your cable paths running anywhere near large sources of electrical noise, such as high voltage power lines? And if so, what amount of shielding is required on your cable as a result? These are just some of the things that you need to consider when designing the perfect copper infrastructure. And because fibre is not susceptible to any of this interference, these factors need not play a part in your system design. Security is also a key consideration. The signals on a copper cable can be picked up and analysed without the cable being compromised. And yet, fibre optics simply do not allow this to happen. This is why high security projects tend to demand a fibre infrastructure over copper. At the core of a fibre cable is glass, and glass is fragile, especially when it's the thickness of a strand of hair. This often made the handling of fibre quite tricky, so unless we had a specific reason for using it, we avoided it. While the core of a fibre cable is still largely made of glass, Manufacturers have now developed incredibly strong coatings and jackets, which ensure the glass fibre itself can withstand more pulling forces than its copper counterparts. Fibre is very much a part of the AV design process, and if your customer is expecting a 4K 44460Hz signal over distances longer than 100 metres, fibre is not just an option, it's a requirement. And yet, if your design has a mix of shorter and longer distances, fibre is the only choice for a single cable option, which can easily facilitate both. However, there is also a case for using fibre for every run regardless of the length. Ethernet is evolving on a daily basis, with 10 gigabit per second platforms fast becoming the minimum requirement in any installation. It won't be long before this moves on again and we see 100 gigabit per second as a minimum requirement. So, now is the time to focus on how we are preparing the physical layer to handle these higher bandwidth signals. While there are copper solutions for 10 gigabit and even experiments at 25 gigabits per second and beyond, the consensus is that these speeds will require CAT7A or better, and the RJ45 will need to be replaced with something more suitable for these high speeds. Even with these changes in place, distances may still be limited to 40 metres or less. There's a lot of familiarity with copper right now. We've used it for years and we love it. However, as key components like the RJ45 connector are replaced, we may start to see this familiarity fade away. In contrast, we now have low-cost multimode fibre and LC and SC connectors, which are already being deployed at data rates of 100 and even 400 gigabits per second. Fibre optic cable was always considered expensive, and yet, if we do a cost comparison today, we can see that fibre is already significantly cheaper than its copper counterpart. 
And because fiber doesn't require any shielding, it makes it much easier to handle and far quicker to terminate than its shielded copper equivalent. So, for today's installation over 10 gigabits per second, copper still holds up. However, we've seen that there is no strong reason to still use copper today. And yet, if you move to fiber, you will immediately start seeing the benefits for now and the future. Any questions? Yes, David at the back there, how can I help? Thank you.